Well, thank you, uh, everyone. It's nice to nice to be here in Dublin. Um, my name's Jason Goldsworthy. I live in Germany. I work in Holland. I'm married to a Dutch wife. I've lived in uh, London, Hertfordshire, Wales, um, and originally I was born in Scotland. So mm -hmm. I'm a, a bit of an international person myself, really. <laughs> um, then I was, then I found that I was a medium was a bit of a shock for me. I just thought I was sensitive, you know, and my dad didn't like that, so I, you know. He, he straight so I mean for me it was like you know you had to grow up tough and strong so actually coming into terms with who I was and that I'm spiritual and that I'm a medium was difficult it was difficult to accept that but my path has led me to here into Dublin it started off with I've been just exploring and just understanding and trying to find out these things about myself and it you know it, it, it changed Change me. Now, before I start my inspiration, I want to tell you a little story. Do you like stories? Yes. I said, do you like stories? Yes. yes. All right. Good. Because uh, today we, we're on a mission. We're going to go into Dublin, and uh, we're going to go with the girls, and we're going to go on this tour of a bus, and we're going to go around Dublin. We're going to see all these things. Most importantly, we want to make a beeline for the Guinness Storehouse. Mm -hmm. You've probably heard of that. Um, so. Um, a, a lady, a friend of ours, said to us, well, you know, you just go down the road here and you go you go left and you walk down a bit and it's only five minutes walk and there, there's the tram and then you can just go on the tram. I said, right, so we walked down there. No, about 35 minutes later, it's <laughs> 22 degrees. And the, and the girls are going, we're there yet? I said, no. And then we walked around and went up a ramp, went around a, a, a roundabout and then went over a bridge and got to the tram. And uh, then we had to work out how, it, how the ticket machine works with all, all these buttons for German and Dutch and everything. And of course, we're international. It was all going for it pretty funny. Mm. So one of my fellow mediums said to me, Jason, we just go and tell him to hold on a minute and uh, just you know stop that tram. Little did I know. So I got onto the tram and uh, I went on there, walked through the door, and uh, I, I got to the door and I tried to, I tried to, I said, well, where's it? knocking on the door, before I knew it, the door shut, and I was going, and I'm running get down the car, going to my way, and the medium said, yep, on. So I, I'd lost them. <laughs> but I was smart, you see, because I thought, well, if I give my wife my phone, then I won't lose it when I'm in Dublin. And I thought, if I give her all my money, then I won't lose that either. So I was stranded on a train with no money, no phone, no water, no food, and I ended up, so I ended up at the next station, thought, I'll get out. And then I was sitting there contemplating, sitting in the summer. I'll just, I'll just wait for the next train. I've got to get on the next train. Um, and so while I was sitting there, uh, I was thinking, well, this is, uh, this is funny because if they don't come on the next train, I'm, 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 I'm having a good time, aren't I? Um, but they did turn up. And they turned up and they said, oh, David made a joke. I tried to ring you. I said, yeah, you would have tried, wouldn't you? We've not got you. Um, but we, anyway, so. Our exploration went further and we were laughing and people were looking at us funny in there because you know, we, were, we were just having a great laugh. And then we got into Dublin and we thought, because we, we'd never been on the tram before, no one had found out what was going to do because we, we were on the search for the Holy Grail, that pint of Guinness, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, so when, we, get, when we, we got to the stop, which we should have got off, we only realised that after we were on our way to the docks, I think, that we were going even further. And some said, no, you should have got off at the last one. So we got up there, climbed all the way up, got up there through there, and got to the Guinness place eventually. Um, now, 22 degrees, parched, and the, all the white was a Guinness, but I didn't realise you had to go through the start and go through all the thing and see all the, all the barley was made. But it was really good, because when I was looking at how it was made, I, I noticed that it was made with... Um, natural things like hops and, and all that and I'm thinking water I think so that's nature it's got something to do with spiritualism isn't it and I said you got and, and like the the knowledge the knowledge of spirit I think all the knowledge of spirit went into this making this Guinness as well it's centuries old and then you've got the, the essence of it because I mean I think the essence of it makes it what it is it was originated in Dublin and it just you know it's here it's going to be it's going to be here when we, we grow old and die it will still be here something a bit like reminding me of that so this little story because when i got to when we actually got to the seventh floor and i got my pint of guinness the holy grail <coughs> I thought, this is like the search isn't it we're all searching for the truth we're all searching for that little truth and we got again so i took my sip and it was like being in heaven i thought god this is this this pint is only two hours old or two 
two days, I think they're two days old. I don't know if I have the point that's that's fresh, but that was good. But it was it is that search. We are all on that search because I mean everyone's searching for something, we're searching for answers, you know, how am I gonna pay my bills? I'm gonna get this sorted out, what's my problems, you know, um, maybe I can talk a little bit, healing might help. Maybe I should ask a medium. Maybe a medium's gonna bring me a message that might just change my life, you know. Maybe everything will all be better tomorrow. Or maybe um, these money problems might be to get them as well, you know. Because we've all been through life and we've all had hardships. We've all been, and I'm just moving into the inspiration now before you, in case you didn't notice. Um, before, um, we've all had these hardships because I just realised my day was hardships as well. So I'm just thinking, these are the hardships of life. The, the real things in life that affect each and every one of us. And that's what makes us the same. Life experience, you know. How I experienced my traumatic experience on the tram didn't shock me. I thought, well, I, I just thought, I'll just wait. But another person might have just been like totally petrified. Like, oh my God, I'm in the middle of nowhere. And it, everyone reacts different to a situation because we're all individually different. And that's the ego. What is ego? Ego is like a mind survival mechanism to keep us alive. You know, because I mean, if we're going to fly from a fire, we're going to our ego says, "Quick, run, <laughs> gone. Save the babies, no, <laughs> gone." <laughs> you know, it, it's it's a flight or fright. That's what the ego is about, and the ego in us all is what makes us distant. I'm not going out to her because she moans too much, or am I going to go to her because I, I don't know if I want to talk to her because she just you know she she always wants to be right. But really, it's life experience that's brought us to this moment in our lives right now. Life experience, what we've been through, has brought us through our lives to this moment and made us the people who we are. So if I react a little stressed today, or you do, when we look at it, it's not because you're not a nice person. It's because you're having a moment. It's a moment of your ego that's been with you all your life saying, I need to survive. <coughs> but really, your spirit is just as pure as it was as it was born on the day it was born. And everyone has it. Everyone has the spirit. Because spirit, to me, is connected to everything. It's the life force energy in each and every one of us that we have. This spirit, this life force, without it, wouldn't survive. When, when a baby is born, life force comes in and it lives. When anything is born, that life force lives. Plants, they live from the same life force. That same energy is connected. Science has even worked out that, that even in empty space, it's full of atoms and neutrons and protons and you name it. It's full of all this energy that we are all connected. So even science is proving today that we're all connected and we are no distance from each other. So we are one. And in that oneness, through this spirituality that we're starting to discover, this knowledge to search for truth, we're all stumbling, getting up, because I mean, life, things get in the way. That's not a problem. We can't all be holy all the time. Sometimes we're having a bad day. That's all right as well, because we're not, we're not supposed to go into meditation and be a uh, Buddha for the, you know, and in a temple, because we were brought in, we were born in Dublin and we were born in a busy street and we were born in this place because we have to be the difference. We have to be the balance between this life, real life, and our spiritual selves. It's good to have an extraordinary life and live it in, a, in an extraordinary way, but still be a little bit normal and enjoy the things in life that are important, like family, loved ones, friends, and inviting them together to join in with the things you do. When you feel like, I, I, I read, a, read a piece somewhere that there's so many people in life that are lonely. I thought, oh my God, that's, that's really sad. Because I think that even when you're crowded room, people can be lonely. You can be talking to them and you think, <coughs> you think they're listening. They go, yes, yes, that's very nice. And, and you think, well, they're not listening. And then you go and talk to someone and say, how are you doing? And they're not listening. Do we really give people the attention? Do we really give people the understanding that 
relationship of human beings. See, I wonder, because even I catch myself, because I mean, human, yeah, we're all human, and I keep contemplating on who we really give people the attention that is needed. And I think as spiritualists, as spiritual people, as human beings just trying to find our path in life, we all wonder. And in this moment we can say we help this person, or shall we talk to this person? Hey, how are you doing? How are you? How are you? Nice to see you. So nice that you could all be here today. To share in one thing, because the distance between me and you is the ego, nothing more. Because there is no distance, we are all one. And in that oneness, we can move mountains. Segregated is a difference. We don't need to be alone. We can do it together. And maybe it's just the small things, you know? I spoke to America once, they said, oh, well, you're not gonna solve this problem of all this rubbish that's around in the council. I said, but why don't you start recycling? Recycling, they do it in Holland. And they said, yeah, but we can't do that. And I said, this recycling stuff and take it to a recycle, it's a lot of work, isn't it? You know, it's a bit of a pain, sort of like that. But if everyone did a little bit, you know, recycling, it would make a difference, there'd be less rubbish. If everyone did it a little bit in their street, in their family, in their neighborhood, I'm not saying let's let make a worldwide change and make a revolution, so like mad spiritualists going out to change the world. I said, but we could make this nice revolution within ourselves, this spiritual revolution of I'm going to be a good human being and I'm going to support you and I'm going to be there to support you when you need it. And that's why we're here. I believe that's one of the lessons we've got to learn is that we're here for each other and it's not only about us it's not only about our problems it's not only about our ailments because they disappear when spirit arrives and I hope you enjoy tonight when spirit will come through our mediums tonight and they will prove the consciousness of the soul <coughs> to keep going and that's when we're really in the oneness because when the spirits on the other side they are in that oneness they're going to come through how they used to be. And with that information, they will say, I'm coming for you. I'm a father, I'm a mother, I'm this. But they've experienced the oneness. So who knows what they'll bring to you, what knowledge, what information that will move you in their life.